Welcome to the seventh video in this series on using Substance 3D Modeler. This will be centered on symmetry and repetition properties for layers and groups, the differences between them, how they work, and how they relate to origins. Symmetry was mentioned in a couple previous videos, but as a reminder, mirror symmetry can be found quickly down here, and the other symmetry settings are found in the Actions menu here. Symmetry is set per layer and can be set by either toggling it while editing a layer, or by selecting and toggling it. It can also be toggled globally by being at the scene level and toggling it with nothing selected. Radial symmetry is also an option, and the count can be changed here. Both can be turned on, which radially repeats mirror planes. In VR, mirror symmetry is found to the side of the palette here, and similarly in the Actions menu. Symmetry settings have an additional effect in VR when toggled on for a layer. If you go to Scene Assembly and try to move the layer, it will in some way be locked to the scene origin. In this case, with mirror symmetry, it's locked to this central plane, which helps keep all symmetry layers lined up with one another. This works the same for radial symmetry, where the movement will be constrained to the radial axis. This can be toggled off with Preserve Symmetry, found here. If you use a sculpting tool on a layer with symmetry, but outside of its focused edit state, the tool will still take effect with regards to the symmetry setting in place. Symmetry settings affect the tools you use as you use them. When clay is placed with radial symmetry and symmetry is turned off, the clay remains, but the tool is no longer being repeated. This is different from repetition settings, although they sound similar. Repetition is a property of a layer or group which creates one or more miraged copies that mimic the original. Mirror repetition can be found quickly down here, with the rest found in the Actions menu here. As a simple example, let's make a new layer and place a simple shape. Select the layer and turn on Mirror Repeat. With repetition, the layer is given a mirrored mirage across the center plane of the scene origin. While one side is selected, the mirage is given these visual lines, indicating that it's being repeated. The solid one can be moved, while the mirage will move accordingly. When deselected, both sides will look the same, and you can grab and move either side. The mirages are mere opposite copies, but their movement, placement, and sizes are tied to one another. You can edit either side, and as you edit, it will reflect in the opposite side. They differ from symmetry in that the layer is being repeated, not the tool. Toggling repetition off, any sculpting edits will only remain on the layer the repetition setting was toggled off from. Another option is radial repeat. You can change the repeated count here, similar to symmetry. You can also toggle on both, which will radially repeat several mirror repetitions. It works the same in VR, but to be quick, mirror repetition is found on the side of the palette and in the Actions menu. Remember, both position and scale are repeated when using the Select tool. Repetition settings are always based off of the origin of the parent. So in this case, because this layer isn't grouped, its parent is the scene, and it's being repeated around the central axis of the scene origin. Same thing with Mirror Repeat. It's being repeated across the scene origin. Moving a repeated layer moves the repetitions, not what is being repeated around. So, say you want to move around all of it. There are two ways to do this. First one is to select the layer and merge. This works, and you can continue sculpting symmetrically by matching the symmetry setting. But there's a more flexible way. If you group a single repeated layer, then the group's origin will be the same as the scene origin, and since the layer is inside a group, that group is considered the parent. This allows you to move the group, and it moves the entire repeated layer. Scoping into the group, you can see it's being repeated around the group origin, and moving it is relative to the group's central axis. If you ungroup it, now the parent is the scene origin again, and the repetition is relative to that. This is the same in VR. You take any repeated layer and group it, then just move the group where you'd like. This repetition property also applies to groups. Let's make a quick group of these layers and set the group to radial repeat. 
which repeats the group around the scene origin. You can scope into any of the repeated groups and move around the elements of the group. Since the group is repeated, changing the contents is reflected in all of the repeated mirages of the group. Important to note here that the property is of the group, not the layers. The group is being repeated. Selecting one of these layers shows that it has no repetition settings toggled. However, you can change the layers to repeat as well, and since their parent is the group, they'll repeat relative to the group origin, whereas the group's parent is the scene, so it repeats around the scene origin. You can make a repeated group in VR the same way. Select the group and toggle a repetition setting. On desktop, currently, you can't take elements in or out of groups without ungrouping and regrouping. This will change. However, it does work in VR. Let's bring another layer into this group. Scope out, grab a layer, and drag scope it into the repeated group. Since the group is repeated, the new added layer is also repeated. Anything done in the group, including quick copying layers inside, will also be repeated. However, if a layer has a repetition setting applied to it, and you try to move it in or out of a group, that repetition setting will toggle off. Since you can nest repeated groups inside of each other, this helps keep track of whatever you're moving between groups. You can always toggle the setting back on when you're happy. Another example that is also currently only in VR is making quick groups through drag scoping. If you try to make a quick group by scoping into a repeated layer, it behaves a little differently. Here, this layer is set to mirror repeat. Drag scope this other layer into it to create a group. This time, a group is created with the repetition property of the layer you scoped into. The layers themselves have the repetition settings turned off and instead exist in a mirror repeated group. It's the same behavior, drag scoping into a radial repeated layer. Dragging these other layers into it creates a radially repeated group with all of the contents. This can be nice if you want to group a bunch of smaller components to something that's already repeated. Repetition, grouping, and copying can make for a powerful workflow. You can quickly copy regular and repeated layers, adjusting them as needed, and grouping them as needed. And that will wrap up part 7 in this series on using Modeler. The next part, we'll be going over instances, how to create and use them.